And then Billy goes, who's Daisy Jones? And Teddy got all amped up, said he was hoping Billy would ask that because he thought Daisy was the one. I think Daisy was just very unexpected for Billy. I said, your tiny love. I loved the chorus of that song. I, I had always loved it. Before we even got back into the studio, I was writing for Daisy. I looked at her and she said, I like writing with you. He said, I'm serious. You made the song better. And I said, I like writing with you too. That meant a lot. And then I said something I shouldn't have said. Maybe meant too much. I like a lot about you. There was no way, no matter what was happening, even if I wanted to, that I could let myself be around Daisy Jones. We are talking about probably the first man in my life who really saw me. She was dangerous. Who ever really understood me, who had so much in common with me. And he still didn't love me. We could see that we were writing about the push and pull between the lure of temptation and staying on the right path. It seemed clear to me that there were things unsaid that were being said in our work together. I just existed for three minutes, singing to the man I loved. The right song, at the right time, with the right person. When you can sing like that with someone, there's a small part of you that feels connected to them. She was so easy to be good with. That kind of connection with a person is sort of like playing with fire. They were magnetic. That's the only word for it. Magnetic. I knew people always talked about how blue Daisy's eyes were, but that day was the first time I really noticed them. They were so blue. I think I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen in my life. In that way, you appreciate things more acutely. I mean, you appreciate people more acutely when they are fleeting, right? And I think I knew she was fleeting. I either knew I was losing her or I didn't. And I either knew I loved her or I didn't. And I either appreciated her for all she was in that moment. Or maybe I didn't. Billy started playing and I caught his eye for just a moment before I started singing and it just seemed so obvious. So painfully, embarrassingly obvious. Without Nikki there to distract me, without keeping myself so drugged up, I wasn't even mentally present. It just seemed so obvious that I loved him. Everything that made Daisy burn, made me burn. Everything I loved about the world, Daisy loved about the world. Everything I struggled with, Daisy struggled with. We were two halves. We were the same. In that way that you're only the same with a few other people. In that way that you don't even feel like you have to say your own thoughts because you know the other person is already thinking. How could I be around Daisy Jones and not be mesmerized by her? Not fall in love with her? I couldn't. I just couldn't. I fell in love with the wrong guy. Who was exactly the right guy. Then she walked away and I would say, it just became so perfectly clear to me that I had been holding on tightly to the possibility, the possibility of Daisy. And suddenly I was having a very hard time with the idea of letting that go, of saying never. Nothing I wouldn't do to go back to the past and wait for you. He sang that, sitting right next to me. <laughs>